the garage. So this hanging heater is not working. Uh, they say it turns on, it lights up and goes off. Currently it's receiving a call for heat, but it's not doing anything. So let's see what's going on. So here we go. Okay, so it looks like we got one flash. According to this, it says in lockout from failed ignition or flame loss. Alrighty, so it's in a lockout right now. So it could just be flame sensor because from what the customer is telling me, uh, it lights up for a second then goes out. It could just be a dirty flame sensor. So we'll start with that and then we'll reset the lockout and then try to cycle it. Okay, so we got the flame sensor cleaned. We're gonna cycle on heat now. So we got an inducer. Flashing normally now. Should be getting gas valves. So yeah, no gas. So it looks like there's an issue with the gas valve, so let's see if it's energizing the gas valve. Okay, so I'm testing the gas valve. We are getting voltage to the gas valve. So for some reason, the gas valve is not opening. We might have a sticky valve because this thing's pretty new. I think it was put in last year. Okay, so we're gonna ohm out the coil on the uh, gas valve. So yeah, we got an open coil on this gas valve. That's why it's not opening. So uh, yep, yeah, looks like we gotta change out the gas valve. Okay, so we got that off. So now I'm gonna loosen this. That'll come off, this will come off, and then we'll take this down and unscrew this. Okay, so we got her in place, plug back in, gas is fully connected. So we're gonna turn on the gas, turn on the power and cycle it and see what happens. Okay, so it's not firing. We're getting 24 volts to the gas valve then. The coil is not open. There's no gas. So let's see what's up. Okay, so yeah, there's a plug on their gas meter. So that's why the gas isn't working. All right, moment of truth. Well, it light. We got the gas back on. It might not light the first try because uh, there's air in the line, but... Uh, got ignition. So we removed the plug and it's fired up fine. Everything's working. Uh, we called the gas company. Apparently they just didn't send a technician to come to remove the plug. Um, so yeah, so uh, we did call the gas company. They're aware that I removed the plug. They're good with it. Uh, so everything's good now. Uh, once that fired up, uh, we went ahead and checked for gas leaks and um, set the gas pressure with a manometer. And we're back in the shop. So the unit's not uh, heating. Uh, when they first call for heat, it makes a crazy noise. So let's go ahead and uh, see what that is. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna jump it from R to W.
Yeah, so that motor's done. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that motor, so. Okay, so we're gonna check the run cap for the inducer. So it looks like it's supposed to be a seven and a half. And it's good. All right, so looks like the motor's bad. So we're gonna go ahead and change out the motor. Okay, so we got the old motor out. It's uh, it's pretty done. Yeah, so now we have to get this wheel off in order to get this plate, and then we mount the new motor there. We're gonna put in a new uh, we're gonna put in a new wheel too, just because this one's all yucamedicated, and then realistically, I'm probably not gonna be able to get this off. I'm probably gonna have to cut the shaft off. So we'll see. Alrighty, so we actually got the wheel off without having to uh, without having to cut the shaft off, which is nice. So I just used the uh, the puller, the hub puller, this guy, to get it down as far as possible. And I grabbed the shaft with a uh, some pliers, and then just spun it off. So now we got to take the motor off this plate. So it's just these bolts here. And then we'll mount the new motor, and then. Uh, put the new wheel on. There we go. Okay, so we got the new wheel and everything put together, so we're gonna go ahead and mount it back in. Okay, so we got everything wired up, all hooked up, it's installed. We're gonna go ahead and cycle it. Now, I was doing this live because there's no service disconnect, it's hardwired in, and there's no breaker. So yeah, always shut the power off. Um, but yeah, it was just, I would just was very careful. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump out uh, R to W and see what happens. So, yeah. Okay, we got inducer. Pressure switch should be closing. Then we'll get the igniter and then gas valve. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.